So, let us present a bag. Welcome. And hello, welcome to Taiwan, to Taipei. We are going to hang out in the lounge here, the EVA lounge. Which There's one? a few different options of the EVA lounge. There's the club. Uh, oh wow, the infinity, the star, the garden. From what we know, the garden is the one that only is for premium members. I'm not sure that applies to the uh, Star Alliance when you're flying on points. Um, but we are going to go to the infinity because I read that that is the best one. And then we're taking our flights. We're doing the long haul flight on EVA Air Business Class. And we're going to show you guys what it's all about. As always with our reviews, we are not affiliated with EVA Air. We are flying on our Star Alliance. We are flying on our Star Alliance points. Um, we did not purchase these with money. We used our <laughs> point system. I didn't purchase it with my points. <laughs> we used my points. I have enough points to get flight camp. And this is an unbiased review of our experience and that will be how we feel. But we are comparing it to all the other airlines we've flown. So it's not just going to be, is it good or not? It's going to be, is it good, but how good? So when you come in this lounge, you have the option of two directions. You have the infinity and you have the star. But we read the infinity is better and we will show you. Ooh, infinity and beyond. And we have these funky little shower passes because we're going to have showers to refresh for our 12 hour flight home. You can see the lounge is very fancy. Shranky danky, it's quiet. I'm invading everyone's privacy with my camera. Welcome to the vlog everyone. Very like contemporary looking. Let's take a look at what the food offers. Let's so get ourselves a nice little bar here with alcohol and wine and coffee. Hot dog. Nothing beats a hot dog stand. Then we got Hagen Dazs ice cream. Someone's elbow deep in. And a whole buffet of hot food. And it's late tonight right now and there's still a full buffet of hot food. Uh, yum! Welcome to Mark's Lounge. Uh, the other option you can go into is the Garden Lounge, which is supposed to be very nice as well, and that's for their strictly their premium uh, customers. So I guess depending on your status, you can go to different lounges. Um, we're gonna check out the Star one and show you that one, which is right next door to the Infinity. You can go into either or, um, and then the Club Lounge is a little bit lower end uh, of comparison of the four. And those are the four EVA airline lounges that are all right in the same area up top of all of the VIP lounges in the International Terminal. in the usual shower room here, and it is nicely set up with sort of your usual inclusions. Um, a full shower to use, it's cleaned after every use. A whole bunch of toiletries and everything here, and a key card entry. Okay, quick shower at the Type A uh, lounge here, the Infinity Lounge. You can go, it goes fine, go. Um, lounge itself is pretty nice. Uh, the food is pretty good, I wouldn't say it's excellent, but it was, it was good. Definitely serviceable. Um, showers are nice, quick, easy. You have lockers right here next to me. If you need to lock your stuff up and store it for a little while. Uh, definitely somewhere you can kill a few hours if you have to. Not my favorite lounge, but I would recommend it. As far as just somewhere to get a good bite to eat and it's nice and quiet and fairly relaxing. Time to check out the other one now. So in the Star Lounge, you have a bit of a different vibe. It's a little brighter, a little less dim. Um, same style layout, a bunch of chairs, and it actually looks like a better buffet to be honest. <clears throat> Quite nice. The inclusions are basically the exact same, it's just a slightly different look inside, it's brighter, a uh, little different seating, the buffet looks pretty much the same. So I would say you're probably not going to really go wrong either way. Same thing has showers, four showers. Um, gives you a little bit of flexibility as well because if you can't get a shower on one side, you can just go to the other side. If it's one side's busy, go to the other side. All right, so they're boarding early, so we ended up getting down here and ran down to get to the plane. <laughs> we had a quick shower though, and now we're ready to go. So fancy. As per usual, first one's on the plane. Eagerest to beavers. for 12 hours on the plane and get there and Oh my gosh, I know it's like rush to sit for 12 hours. Huzzah! Huzzah, so let this person goodbye. Sweet! Okay, 
first impression, I actually like the short haul flight better. It's a little newer of a plane, but we got a TV right in front of us here. Underneath your seat, we have a pillow and a comforter. Get a bunch of stowage space. You have your table that comes out and moves around depending on how you want your table to sit. All of your controls next to you, you've got the light with the on off switch, the power, we have the AV inputs and export. I don't think we even use that, but I don't know. You might. USB port, headfo uh, headphone jack, sorry, headphone jack. Uh, and you've got the remote for the actual controlling of the unit. Down here we have your seats, so you've got the massage functions and you have all the different ways of laying your seat and then it slides out completely flat and your feet will tuck into there and it'll flat like a bed. We have a new pair of sweet uh, slippers. Uh, the other pair was nicer, but these ones will do. They will work for my feet. For our inclusions, we have another one of these headsets that we had on the other flight. Thunder by Eva Air. Again, ACDC joke. You are ready to go with the noise canceling headphones. These work really well. They worked great on our, our uh, short haul flight as well. We have ourselves a welcome juice, which is a nice, lovely lemon and ginger, I believe, juice. With a welcome Godiva chocolate. And a towel to wipe yourself down. Possibly the cutest bag we've ever seen as far as carry-on uh, sacks go. This is like a little mini suitcase. Voila. Got ourselves an eye, ma an eye mask. We have a comb for all those hairstyling needs during your flight. A toothbrush for hygiene. Socks, which will probably fit me about as well as their flippers. Slippers do. A glass cleaning mat. Earplugs. And then we've got some different hand lotions and lip balms in here and one more right here. And this will be a great bag down the road for packing things in your suitcase that you just don't want to get bust break broken because it's just hard sidedness. So at a quick first glance, um, the other plane was nicer because it was newer for the, so the short haul the EVA or flight that we took just before this one, which is uh, in the previous review, um, was a nicer plane um, and very comfortable sitting next to Katie side by side, lots of space for the sleep. This one's got a little more room for the actual sleeping side of things, uh, which will be nice for myself in a long haul. It's just an older plane, that's all. We get a couple meals on this flight. The first one is the Sky Gourmet. And if you're flying premium economy, I believe you get the Star Special, which isn't a whole lot different. Slightly different main course, you don't get the order. Sign options. Some more wines, cocktails, spirits. More beverages. Basically the same on the, the short haul one as it is on the long haul, just slightly different wines. And then throughout your flight, you can any order in at the Leisure Delights and usually some other snacks as well, anytime. And then we get towards Vancouver, we get the refreshers, so we get a wake up drink and have three options for breakfast. Not a surprise, pajamas. It's my new digs, it's my pajamas that I got. I will take a full body shot later, but they are super comfortable, super soft. And now we're gonna start with ourselves a little canapé, appetizer, before our main course. Baguette and olive oil, and a glass of wine. Maple sea bass. Our last course of cake and fruit.
those are really nice as well. They have some supplies and they've got toothbrushes and everything you can use if you need one. Um, it's a huge stand and tons of room. You can check out these sweet digs they got. These are the pajamas. You got them for free. Uh, the shirt's a little bit small, but the pants look great. Alrighty, for breakfast we have noodle soup. To the, where I got my water stored, you've got this sort of big desk area, and then when the tray table comes out, it's huge. And so, between that and in front of your TV, there's a massive workstation essentially. So, I was able to get a lot of work done at the same time, which is really nice. Um, but again, yeah, other than it being an older plane, the other plane was nicer because it was like brand new. Uh, everything else in this was amazing, really, really great. Um, very similar to the Air Canada pods. So I'm probably give this one a leg up just because I like having the, the, the workspace. A lot more workspace to do. Have my laptop out and everything. It felt less cramped. So two thumbs up for sure here for Eva Air. And we'll see what Katie has to say next. Here's Katie. So good. Um, I think one of my favorite businesses we've been on because it was just the constant service, the constant details. As soon as you're out of something, something else was there. Um, really, really good. Highly recommend EVA business for the long haul. Both of them, I think, because they're both amazing. I'd be content with that short haul one too. Yeah, I don't know if my bed was totally flat. Was your shoe? Yeah. Maybe I'm just crazy. Anyways, it was really comfortable. The blanket was like awesome. You got pajamas. I can never find pajamas that are long enough. These were long enough. Bonus points. <laughs> Honestly, and if that if that plane has a new plane as well, which I've seen pictures of, that would be incredible. It'd be really really nice. So, highly recommend EVA okay, Air. One tip: the breakfast, Western breakfast. Um, was like <laughs> was ravioli with um, squid and mussels. So I totally misread it when I ordered. Get the noodle one. The noodle one's really good. The noodle bowl. That's what I had. <laughs> they don't have a normal breakfast, but it's good. It's really good. Yeah, I misread. <laughs> So that's it for our review. We hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, pass it on, whatever, all that kind of fun stuff. And tell us many jokes. We love jokes. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here.